Hard to believe it is day 21 now of Israel at war. The IDF pounding Hamas targets in Gaza, sending tanks and troops inside the terror stronghold for a second limited incursion ahead of a full-scale ground invasion. Trey Yanks is live in southern Israel for us, where the IDF is cranking things up. Trey, what do you hear? What do you see? Yeah, Aisha, good morning. Absolutely. The Israeli Air Force has been pounding the northern part of the Gaza Strip today. We've been watching as these strikes take place, not just from the air, but also from the ground. They're using artillery units along the border to hit different Hamas and Islamic Jihad cells. They are working to clear a path to ultimately have ground troops go into Gaza. That is according to the country's defense minister, Yoav Gallant, who I spoke with earlier today at the Kiryat, the Israeli Pentagon in Tel Aviv. We had a small meeting, just a group of six journalists and the defense minister asking him a number of questions about the situation as the war enters its 21st day. Moments after that meeting, rockets were fired toward Tel Aviv, but a little bit about what the defense minister told us. He said the country is preparing not for weeks, but for months of war inside Gaza. He wouldn't give us a precise day, but said that soon Israeli forces will enter the Gaza Strip. He talked a little bit about the lead up to this and said he did not believe Iran directly ordered the massacre on October 7th, but indicated they have trained and supplied funds to Hamas and Islamic Jihad for years. I do want to switch gears here and talk about eastern Syria. Overnight, American F-16s targeted Iranian proxies there. There is an Iranian base in eastern Syria that actually in 2019, Fox News used civilian satellites to locate after we received intelligence from Western sources that indicated the Iranians are going to start supplying weapons to these proxies. Now, we have four years later an indication that they are using this base to launch attacks against American forces in the region, and that is exactly why the Biden administration ordered those strikes. Here on the ground, though, between the Israel-Gaza border, we understand the Israelis will continue to launch nightly raids. Just last night, they used their navy to launch a raid in southern Gaza, and they say they killed a number of Hamas militants there in the south. Aisha. And Trey, we await to see if Iran moves next, if they do, and what they do next. Thank you, Trey.